Welcome to the eve of outer space development. The Kepler spacecraft reported in 2011 the discovery of 1,235 previously undiscovered planets. You heard about the NASA space shuttle fleet retiring in 2011, right? Remember the shift from typewriters to the internet? Imagine a similar shift for space travel technologies. In other words, interstellar space travel is an obstacle that humanity is preparing to overcome. Why are so many spaceports being constructed around the world? Why are business moguls developing new types of spaceships? Gold, iridium, platinum, platinum group metals, and other natural resources have been discovered in abundant quantities in outer space. And what will all of this mean in terms of careers, employment preparedness, educational preparedness, opportunities, and other realities in the near future? You deserve to know about these newly emerging trends for outer space development. This type of knowledge can enable you to design your own future. Are you ready to take advantage of these opportunities? I'm here to explain how you can play a role in the space generation. I want to teach you how to think like a legal researcher to uncover newly emerging trends before they begin to occur. Who owns outer space? Private property rights possible for outer space territory? What does the Outer Space Treaty say? What did the NASA Authorization Act of 2010 do? What's all the fuss about the Moon Treaty? What impact did the Commercial Space Launch Amendments Act of 2004 have on the spaceship revolution? What do the laws say? Are wars and conflicts likely to occur over the outer space territory? Is the conquest paradigm likely to repeat historical patterns? These are the types of questions that we're going to explore on our journey into understanding outer space development and space law.